All right, so as a bit of a present to myself, I got Steam. I got a Valve Index VR headset. So even though the application, as a, as it sits right now, is very basic, triangle and stuff, I want to see if I can try to get some uh, uh, VR going into the uh, system right now. Because I'm pretty sure, like, it's just very basic, very triangle. And I'd rather just, I, I just want to try. I want to do something like this. I do have cat basic camera and cat. Yep. Okay. So I should be able to be good to go to start getting through OpenXR, which has just been added recently, I believe. Do 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 do. Seems the Steam VR thing over, out of the way. Thank you. Which is also why I have the beta version of Steam VR. Because the beta version has OpenXR capabilities. Let's open that up. Uh, let's uh, open the reference guide and the spec. There's mm, a PDF. Let's save that. In the home directory. That's great. Okay, I'm pretty sure. I do have it installed from probably something else. Uh, let's see. Okay. The reference guide starts with... Okay. Two things. This is awfully bright. Whatever. You need to find the... Get the API layer properties and enumerate instance extension properties. Set API and extension, then create instance. Okay. It's, um, I imagine it'll be using the, almost the Vulkan takes so open XR slash open XRH, yeah. Okay. Let's open this as, let's open the PDF, move that over, open XR spec. Whoop, 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 whoop. Here we go. Mm -hmm. API and extensions to this point. Let's start with this one. This is what? Similar to Vulcan where it's like you query it to get the number, generate. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, XR props. Whoop. Yep. Ugh. Input is zero, so that means I want to get it out from XR props. And then we have no pointer to begin with. We get the number of properties, then we want to like vector for the moment. What? XR API layer properties. Size to XR prop count. Um, XR API layer property structures can be null. Um, okay. We'll do this. that Whoop. like that 
Wonderful. And I'll have to add um, cd user lib plus grep openxr. What does it come up with? Uh, openxr loader. So I need to link that. Okay. Failure, why? XR API layer properties, type, type. This, oh, this is, um. wait, I have to have it. I actually have to specify this. Okay. XR type API layer properties. Like is it is this what I have to do? Apparently. Okay, XR props, what do I got? I got whoops two. First one is layer named XR API layer Lunar G core validation. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Validation layer. Available API layer to perform validation for API calls and parameters as they occur. Okay, and the second one is XR API layer Lunar G API dump. Description of API layer to record API calls as they occur. Uh, okay. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. properties okay uh, what was the other thing that was uh, part of this was enumerate instance extension properties um, you the available instance extensions by calling this extension include to work with the graphics API extension the debug information much like Vulcan at this point. So I imagine it's the same kind of deal. Do I have to specify something? Layer name is either null or a pointer to a string naming the API layer to retrieve extensions from. Do I, have to, do I have to enumerate through these guys? And is the capacity of the properties array? Hmm. Interesting. And what's the pre instant? Application info, extension count, API layers. I'm surprised there's nothing actually saying like Steam specifically here. Like I have Steam VR running in the background, but there's nothing actually saying like this is the Steam uh, VR API. It's just the Lunar G stuff. Unless Steam's just using the Lunar G stuff. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, well, this is something I want to do later. So I want to be able to get much like um, turn these to error codes, much like I did with Vulcan. But that'll be a bit later as a side gig rather than the front end. So, um, yeah, 32. Extension account. Zoom out, zoom out. Ex instance extension properties, const name. Put that as that for the moment. Say zero. Okay, hold on. I need to go, I need to go through these. So auto and iterator of XR props. So iterator dot layer name. It starts up with zero. We're gonna do what is it? XR extension properties. Go away. Let that count. Wonderful. Go through them all. The type equals X are type extension properties. Got to do that again. Can this second one be null so it just doesn't? Or does it have to be that? Or rather I can do this just in case it changes and set this to be this dot size. Like, eh, that makes a bit more sense. So for IT layer name of XR API layer, the core validation, there's nothing here. That's great. And then for this other one, there's nothing here as well. Okay, hold on, am I, okay. I must be missing something. I thought that was supposed to be like a graphics API layer properties. If properties, okay, if If it's null, does that returns? Um, 
Okay, what happens if I, if I do a null? What if I just do this outside and it's just like null pointer? Is this somehow different? So right now extension property is nothing. So nothing. And then we have seven here. Okay, so there is, oh God. Hmm. Okay. So got what? Extension name. XR Kronos Vulcan enable. Okay, so that's that enables Vulcan. One does what? Vulcan enable two. Open GL enable. Okay, so I mentioned there's an open GL two. No. XR valve analog threshold hmm. extension hand tracking. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Is there like hand tracking too? No. Chronos visibility mask. Okay. Extension debug utils. Okay. So we've got Vulcan, we've got Vulcan 2. Not sure what the difference between the two is. Can I? Okay, there's enable. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, what's this instance extension revision? Blah 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 blah. Okay, where's the second one? Yeah, what's the number two do? Um, So number two gives this extra thing. Okay, so this is... So I can... So my application could say, this is the minimum required version of Vulcan I require, and that I've tested up to version blah. So I can tell like the application do, do a vol use a Vulcan around this section. If it's below this, don't run. If it's above this, okay, okay. Hmm. I can actually specify which versions of the API I can actually use. Nice. So that's the difference between the two. That makes sense. 
I don't know why they're, they weren't together, but you know, whatever. Hmm. Okay. What's this? Huh, this must be stuff that's been spit, spat out by the loader, the XR loader. Interesting. Um, okay, so then next we have to go through and create the instance. Bring this back up go all the way to the top and go back to instance creation So we'll create XR res equals, okay, first of all, actually, I need an XR instance create info. Dot type equals XR type instance create info. There's a Kronos one, uh, Android one, I should say. I'm not really going to care what's in here. So we've got next is null pointer, create flags, application info. Enable API layers, extensions. Okay. Applicate, this is the same thing as um, okay. Oh, it's not the engine name. Uh, application version equals zero. Engine name. And how do I say uh, what the hell this version is? get this out one zero twelve I'm saying okay you happy you happy you happy um it's in CI say everything else is zero whatever for the moment ok 
Okay, and then next our instance. how it likes this or rather doesn't mm -hmm. boom uh, and it failed failed to detect prism okay is it because I didn't have, okay, that deletes it, that's great. Okay, my headset was asleep, so let's see if we can actually do this again. Oh yeah, stop it, run it again. We're moving, it's moving around, it's gonna do this, it's gonna create, nah, I don't know what this is exactly going on about. So what I see in, what do I see in there, hold on. No, inside Steam VR, I just see uh, just the home area. So I'm not exactly sure. Hmm. I mean, it, it did return a success. I'm just not sure what this means. Receive namespace data that internet and this stuff. success response from VR server connect not looking for a good app key because steam didn't start okay so that's just saying uh, it because steam didn't start it it's not looking for steam application key app key after connect whatever fail to detect prism no idea what that is fail to open trace marker disabling tracing not sure what that means either okay so I'm going so it was successful to open okay so we started the instance. That's great. The XR session becomes this entire blah until we destroy the instance. But this is it. This is actually a pretty small API. There, up here. This is this is what matters. XR get instance properties. I need to get the system. Okay. Space stuff. View configs, action sets. We get the system. We, ugh, I hate this fucking. Can barely tell. Okay, but this set. Okay, these guys. After I get the system, but before I create the session, then I create the session, then I do these things polling events, and session loops. Because you're not going to be changing like the HMD set after you've created this stuff. So that makes sense. Oh God, no! This okay. This session turns into this section over here. Mm -hmm. 
in session, end session. Sorry, where does this go? Session state idle. Begin session, then it does this, then it ends session. Then it goes into session state exiting. Session state lost pending, then it exits out, then you destroy the session. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It's been half an hour. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, in case when, I guess like when Steam VR is exiting without the application of being exited, it'll say, I'm, you know, you're quitting soon, destroy everything. Like, or if you're trying to switch between one, like from between Steam VR and whatever Oculus uses, I guess, or Facebook uses. So you can change VR run times. Okay. So what's this do? Hmm. XR this turns XR results to strings, really. Yes. <laughs> really? I I how on earth does this function return failure instance loss? It's just turning an XR result, which is a Redefine one of these into a string. Ah, oh, crap. How do I go back? Okay, whatever. Structure type to string. Same thing. Struct type. It just, these converts enums to strings okay system okay so the instance is well, yeah Okay. So a system instance is the runtime. The system is the actual like devices in that runtime. So like a uh, headset and controllers. I don't know if base stations or something else uh, or trackable objects. Okay. Okay. Uses the system to create a session which can be used to accept input from the user and output rendered frames.
we didn't have like multiple systems on a single instance or like multiple sessions from a system. I'm not sure of the distinction here. Oh, okay, I see. The session can... So if you're only using the headset, you can just say, I just want the headset from this, the headset from this system. Just discard all information, don't process the controllers and stuff. Okay. Okay, I can, I can start to see this a bit more. Why there's a distinction. Runtime may use the section. Hmm. Handheld display, mounted display. Okay. Let's go with the InfinXR system. Let's get the system. So what do we need for this? XR res equals XR get system, which we need the XR instance. We need the get info, XR system, get info. XR system ID. Okay. Right here, right here. Close. Getting the extra system ID. Um, you. What am I requesting? Which is only two. Mm -hmm. Okay. dot form factor equals head to display wonderful so this time I'd have the system that's associated with the head mounted display including its controllers and system uh, in the case of steam vr 
I know this is like redundant, but I'm trying to just reinforce it in my mind mostly. So in this case, in Steam VR, it'll be the headset plus the controllers if they were on. So if I turn this one back on. There we go. And it's back on. And it's got a bit of power. If I turn it off again. You know, it's off. Okay. So right now we'd have this. And then presumably we'd have to shut it off. SR. Do I have to clear system? Destroy session? I don't have to destroy systems. It's sessions on systems that I have to create and destroy. I don't know. I guess systems are constant with this instance or associated with the instance or as part of the instance. Okay, that, I get, I'm, yeah. System is now available. Now, what can I, what can I get with this? XR get instance properties. Create session, so then it'd be like, Main loop, like I'm just looking at the end of session, destroy session, no access to hardware up to this point. System properties. Okay, let's get the system properties on this uh, system. Mm -hmm. XR res. Oh, I already got the system, you idiot. Is this assuming that there's only one system? Like I can't. Actually, yeah, that's a. Uh... Uh, hmm. There's only up to one uh, VR XR system attached, or of one of each type. I guess unless the system is. Oh no 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 no. Oh, okay, it's getting all possible headsets okay i don't i'm not gonna obviously have more than one system available to actually check but i guess okay whatever i'm just thinking way too hard about this just and that let's see what the properties are Let's see what we get. XR system, XR success, system properties, system props. <sighs> Where dot type equals that. That's kind of annoying compared to Vulcan. Okay, system props. System name, Steam VR, OpenXR, Lighthouse. Okay. So now I'm part of the Steam VR system. Wow, that's a lot of images you can have at once. Tracking properties. Orientation and position tracking. True, true. Nice. And that's it. That That's it. That's it. 
Okay. I don't really have another system to compare it to, so I'll assume that's good. Okay, so XR system turns to XR get instance properties, perhaps. So I guess at this point, with the system information, I'd have to set up the view, really. Um, oh, dang it. I need to move this to where I have Vulcan already up. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Is there like a XR null handle? Yeah. <laughs> Where is XR instance? That doesn't matter, I guess. Wait for this. XR wait. Frame. Is that okay? Is XR wait frame basically the same as this?
Okay, so not really. There's no, okay, so yeah. There's no exiting stuff. So once we've already, once Vulcan is finished, you know, we'll just like, uh, if, Destroy, uh, not session. Let's um, figure out how to do. Let's get the views. Let's get the view information. So, VR, ah, sorry, XR. Why is it XR? VR. Oh, alt uh, AR, right. So it's just extra reality, I guess. Yeah, okay. Didn't mean to do that. View configurations, XR. configurations from the instance and system ID you can get the count of okay It's zero, so we can get the stuff out first. So, count. Uh, what point do I start with? Size to this. And we'll do this. This stuff comes out with um, oh, all these jumps. Oh, my God. Okay, XR instance is the only thing we actually need from outside. 
for the moment. So we put all this, this way up here somewhere. After the graphics and whatever. After the very start. The rest of this can all just be whoop, little like that. Cute. Okay, go away, XR view type primary stereo. Oh, Mono, stereo, quadvajo, and mono, first person observer with Microsoft. Okay. Um, mono, so mono will be like a regular screen. Stereo is VR headset with two screens. Quad, I don't know. Mono, first person observer would be like alternate reality Microsoft. They're VR, uh, AR goggles, I guess. Oh, wait, it's right down here. One view representing the form factors, one primary display. Our phone screen. And then the others are just mysteries. Zero must represent left and one right. One element in prop and one in projection in each layer. Okay. Well, XR view config type is stereo for the moment. So we need to get a view. We need to get the um, going with the type which is just it's our view config types zero we are assuming that there's one right now for the moment and we want to just put it spit it all into here that type equals 
new configuration properties like that. See what this comes up with, shall we? Is that it? It just says mutable one. What does that? Okay. What does it give me? What does it give me? Hmm? Can then call this to get detailed information about each enumerate view configuration views. Field of view can be modified by the application. That's interesting. Is that the only thing it can be done? Because um, otherwise it's just spitting out the configuration type back at me and then the, whether or not it's mutable, a mutable view. Which doesn't really is 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 view mutable, I guess. Okay. Let's get the other stuff. Enumerate view configuration views. Um, XR system ID configuration type capacity. No, this again. View config count. View config. <laughs> View config view count. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Same thing here, view config views. Okay, we get the view config views. These, I presume, will have uh, some more information. Okay, um, I 
there's two configuration views because there's two things on this guy a left and right eye zero is left one is right these are the image width and height okay which makes sense i guess i thought system props kind of had the same thing going on yeah hmm okay so we got this stuff. There is only one view, right? It's not like a second config view, like a mono, like 2D screen. Because games or VR applications typically have like a projected view of the thing up here as well. Um, no, it's only the one. And it's just, uh, it's just stereo, that's it. No, mo no mono version. Um, like maybe there's some earlier VR headsets that had like, whoops, had like a single screen that was kind of lensed weirdly, something like that. Maybe. Okay. Well, yes, we've got the views at this point. What do we need? We need to we set up the views. Graphics API. Um, this would of course require me to have loaded um, or created the instance with the graphics API to start with. So hold on, let's um, okay, let's swing right back up here. At this point, we enumerate them. Let's just say that we have an extension. Extension count equals one. Extension names equals do do do. What exactly does it require? Of course, const char star. So char star. Um, is there like an XR Chronos? X, no. Vulcan. Oh, extension name. Vulcan X. Hmm. Hmm. Enable, no. Composition layer. Vo no. Is 
Is there like a some subheader space? Like, is there? Okay, don't do match. Swap chain list. Blah 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 blah. Vulcan, 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 Vulcan two. Like we got some things. Thirteen. That's it. Oh. Uh, it's not hard to find. And go into here. Okay, fine. I guess Clang D is dead for now. Save it. Get out of here. Get get out of here. Get back in. No, amazing, super easy, not hard. Platform defines, go in there. What is so hard? It's in the same direction. God damn it. No. If, okay, no, this is, okay, I see what's going on. XR, uh, let's see, Vulcan, right? You need to have this define before it's enabled. Then I can, no. Oh, okay, holy crap, there's a whole bunch of these guys. This is what I'm looking for, this one. I'm looking for this one specifically. What's that? But I need to have this enabled before. Like how how does this work? Open XR. Goes to open XR reflection. What the hell? Okay, whatever. Whatever. I just need to get back in the platform. I need to have this defined before I include it, I presume. That. Damn it. Okay, do I need to... Does it have to be included differently like this? And then like that? I guess. the first one yeah <sighs> don't care do not care as long as it's created and then I can come down here and to the graphic stuff for the moment I'll be happy Great.
check the support, right? XR environment blend nodes and some properties, system properties. You need a ch do I need Well Have to do this. Circuit Vulcan graphics binding Vulcan. Get open GL. Is that like? Mm. Um, do I need this before the session? I'm going to assume I need it before the session. So right now I'm just kind of going through the reference card right now trying to because I got the view stuff. I'm not really bothering with actions yet. I already know this kind of stuff. I guess I need to. Cr okay, let's create the session. We'll do the graphic stuff in a moment after this. something I need to have up to here as well. And then down here somewhere. What's in here? Type XR and what are the flags available? There are no flags available.
What? What? You're kidding me, right? There's nothing else to... Okay. What was what's the point of this then? Okay, I do need the graphics device before this point. So creating the session binds the system to the graphics. I don't know how that's supposed to happen. I need to okay. So I need to buy. I need to call that XR binding stuff first. I presume in here an XR platform up here. This stuff. I need to do this XR binding Vulcan. <sighs> Okay. So we have this. So technically all the VR stuff should, the XR stuff should happen outside of Vulkan. Then you do Vulkan or the graphics API. As long as you have the bindings available for enabling, for binding to the graphics API you're using. Then you initialize the binding stuff. So so at this point I have the instance, the device, everything else I would really need, I guess. So um, what do I need? What do I need? X, R, G, R, F, this, I need this basically. Uh, dot type equals uh, graphics binding Vulcan one for the moment. Just assume it's zero for the moment. And I'll say that's also zero. Okay, then I need to create the session. Do I need to like bind it? Or See, this is just a struct. There's no like. Is it like. Is it part of this? Blah, 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 blah. 
This needs session create info structure. Is null or a pointer to the next structure of the train? No such structures are defined in core OpenXR. Note that in most cases, one graphics API extension struct must needs to be in this. Okay, so this is part of the next chain. Yeah, here we go. Um, next must be. Yeah, Vulcan's way easier than the rest of these guys. Uh, I don't know what this one is about, but okay. So dot next equals graphics binding. That's how we get the graphics into there, All right? Right. Validation. Okay. Okay. Uh, failed to call XR get graphics requirements before that. Okay. Do I just need to, oh, I also need to get the XR res. Okay, uh, I guess I need to manually find the function. Okay, first of all, this is probably requiring a type dot type equals XR type graphics find uh, requirements Vulcan one. Secondly, I'm going to need to get the function from elsewhere. So this PFN that pointer function that or rather can I uh No, I can't. Because I need to do XR res equals uh, XR get uh, instance procedure address, address XR instance. I want the name of that. Okay. 
We'll just say it's that. And say it's like that. Okay. Successful so far, we do this. This is successful, graphics requirements. Uh, whatever that, whatever those are. But if I do that, then it allows me to carry on, right? You no, know, it does not. Failed to load extension, this, 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 this. Is render doc enabled? What? It's also doing, what is this? This isn't even me. Okay. Okay. Like Is there a Is there an extension on the Vulcan set I need to have for this? Make it, what what what's Application failed to call get Vulcan graphics device before this. What? Do I need to? Is there like a thing that says, how do I set up Vulcan? This is life cycle. Da, 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 da. No. Common type system. System, system, properties, graphics properties, tracking properties. Okay. Spaces, I'm not even in yet. Rendering, um, not really. View configs, rendering. Exact creates, did system create session, blah, blah, blah. Not quite there yet. Create session. Okay, use extensions, extend functions for using Vulkan are shown below for others. See extensions on this. Get requirements, salt chain images, binding. Compositing, but not quite there yet.
back to this. Okay, is there a thing for like setting Vulcan, Vulcan, Vulcan? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Session life cycle. This is session control. That's this diagram again. Not quite there yet. Do I have to do this beforehand then? I mean, okay. Um, okay. Okay, so this is the platform thing I was missing before. Initialization. Okay, so, okay, okay, because right now for Vulcan, shite, for Vulcan, I'm just using the first physical device, but this may require me to choose a different physical device. So depending on whether I'm rendering to a window or to this, I need to switch physical devices based on that. Perhaps. Oh, I s oh God, because I got two graphics cards, and if I plug the HMD into a di into the secondary graphics card, though the graphics card that's separate from the the main like uh, desktop, then it doesn't work on Steam VR or any of the app the application because no one's doing this. Everyone's just assuming that the ones with the desktop. Okay, okay, I'm not going to make that mistake. I'm going to rework it, but I'm not going to make the same mistake. <clears throat> So, um, but I guess I have to do this first. I have to do this before validation is failing because it may not be because it's not doing this first. So I need to make sure.
So PF and uh, this. Physical device by default is null handle for yeah. Nice failure. Is it because it, it's inactive right now? Come on, turn back on. Okay, it's on Steam VR again. Okay, let's try running it again. Nope. Have your system get output device fail to get required Vulcan device function pointer. DK get physical device properties to. Why? Why? Do I have to do something for you? Wait a second, VK, 
When was this introduced? I'm okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I'm for Vulcan. I'm just like starting it up as like the environment is like Vulcan 1.0 or something like that. Mm, yeah, VK version 1.0. Maybe this is because this was introduced much later. Hmm. Um, I don't know. Two. not no that didn't work okay hmm. okay um go to the VK spec I'm going to bet like this is because it's got a two on it it's probably like a require like some kind of uh... wait hold on a second okay 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 this is probably my, my this is what I'm missing here there's probably some a very certain specific set of instance extensions and device okay why am I so blind i need certain extensions i need to pass these into the creation of the vulcan system so that they have the required instance and device extensions so that i such as whatever this function is like okay first of all like promotion vulcan 1.1 is this right this requires i'm going to bet it's going to require like a certain do, do, do. Okay, whatever. I got in. I got to put these. I got to slap these guys in. Um, what's it? Nearly two hours. Okay, I'll slap these in next time. Plus, rearranging some of this stuff to be pre Vulcan initialization as well. And, um,. I need code to figure out which physical device to do based on whether I'm HMD or not. So I'm going to do that next time. <laughs>